Lithium batteries, they're all the rage right now. You know, that's something that we've recently brought in a line of lithium batteries here. And you'll want to talk about some of the pros and cons of, of, of going to a lithium battery, right? The first thing, Matt, of course, is going to be cost. I know that you're you're interested in adding lithium to your boat. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's quite quite the difference between a regular lead acid battery. Yeah, right? the cost of entry is dramatically higher. I mean, you're talking three to four times the cost of just a standard, you know, lead acid battery. Um, you know, but the the question is, do the costs outweigh the benefits or not? Right. Because the benefits that a lithium battery brings are, are pretty awesome. You know, if, if you look at it from a small boat perspective, it, you know, with a trolling motor, if you have a 24 or 36 volt system, you're potentially saving over 100 pounds in batteries. Wow. Right. And if you're uh, in addition to that, you're gaining a longer runtime for the same amp hour, uh, you know, comparable batteries versus you know, lead acid versus lithium. Um, you're getting stronger runtime for that percentage, that, that longer percentage of runtime as well, because there is a there is a fall off for lead acid batteries for the amount of power that they can produce given the amp hours that they have. Yeah. Right. So those are those are a couple of the benefits. The other major benefit that you gain is just the extra space you get in your boat. Yeah, it's you, incredible. You think of a, a 36 volt trolling motor. In a That's, forward compartment, you're it's your using entire bow all compartment. of that. You got you know three series, you know twenty seven mm-hmm. batteries up there bridged together. That, like you said, you, mm-hmm. know, you you hope you have room to be able to fit all that, right? I I had a customer of mine. He he and his neighbor have the same exact boat. One with thirty six volt lead acid system. The other thirty six volt lithium battery. The running angle of the boat and the 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 time to plane difference between the two of them is dramatic. It's noticeable. In addition to that, I mean. You put all that weight in your boat, and you're effectively reducing the amount of load that that boat can carry now, right? You, you, that's an entire person. Yeah. So, <laughs> in some you know, cases. Matt, you're you're our expert on boating. You know, I, I felt pretty good about the fact that you know you, you thought this was a, a good add here to the catalog, and yeah. you know, through that though, looking at look, let's be let's be honest. Mm-hmm. This technology is not too far along, right? I mean, it's it's far along, sure. but it hasn't been out in the market out there, mm-hmm. so that's. One of our big concerns going to market, you know, looking at brands and making mm-hmm. sure that we bring in the best brand. And that's that's something where actually, you know, we, we, we really vetted. We've been approached by a couple of different places and you know, brought in this brand specifically. So cost, of course, is a, a negative from an application standpoint. Mm-hmm. I would say that another con would be how who's the best to go with. Right. We haven't yeah. really figured mm-hmm. that out. You know, it's still new market, new industry, the support that's behind it. That's where we felt really good about that side. Um, you know, so it, it was, it was, again, I feel, I feel all the pros really outweigh a lot of the cons, mm-hmm. but from a, a cost standpoint, you have to, you have to factor that in. You For wouldn't sure. be changing a uh, starter battery with one no, of these, right? In, in my application where, you know, it's a small skiff, I have one battery that that carries the covers all the functions that i have on the boat it's my starting battery handles the stereo handles the gps every all my running lights and everything it doesn't make sense for me to go to a lithium battery for the cost versus sticking with what i've got now if i want to do it from a weight saving standpoint Mm -hmm. that that's where i'm like trying to figure out what does it make sense now if i want to add a trolling motor to my boat am i going to have everything run off that probably not i don't want my starting battery running off, you know, also being my trolling. Caught a lot of fish, can't get back. (laughs) Yep, (laughs) exactly. I don't want that to be me. So I I look at lithium as a potential addition to what I currently have, not necessarily to replace a starting battery. Awesome. Good stuff, guys. Thank you.